What's up, everybody? This is Nightwatch Nate, your host of the infamous Heavily Shadow Band Nightwatch podcast. How's everybody doing? It's been a while. I know it's been a while since I've checked in. I've had a lot going on, man. Yeah, I got a lot going on right now. Um, doesn't seem like it. I know this is news to a lot of my, even my closest friends, but I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and the world is just going nuts right now, isn't it? So we had the Pope come out and he, uh, you know, he claimed we're all, the world is in World War III. We're in the middle of World War III right now. And I think it was just a few weeks later, uh, Dark Brando comes out, right? True to form. And he, uh, he, uh, starts warning, warning the world, warning Americans in particular, because that's the target audience, you know, the, um, propaganda campaign here, uh, that we are facing nuclear Armageddon, literally using Armageddon as a buzzword. Then I think it was the next day on, uh, Sunday, you know, some of his, uh, or top advisors and whatnot came out and did a little damage control because they were like, oh, he, he didn't mean that we're, like, changing our nuclear stance or anything, or, <clears throat> it's just pure you know, I hate to use the word but it's it's an appropriate word it's fear porn and this whole war you know I, th- I think it's really relevant and this keeps popping into my mind you know wars and rumors of wars you know, Jesus warns his disciples that there will be wars and rumors of wars in the end time and I think it's key that word rumor right because you know, it's like the Orwellian, you know, we've always been uh, at war with uh... It does not matter if the war is not real, or when it is, the victory is not possible. The war is not meant to be won, it is meant to be continuous. The essential act of modern warfare is the destruction of the produce of human labor. The war is waged by the ruling group against its own subjects. And its object is not victory over Eurasia or East Asia, but to keep the very structure of society intact. But, uh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Uh, Yeah, and then on top of all this, the, uh, I just released that short. It was just a, I've been doing a lot of shorts lately just because I'm trying to tap into a broader audience. And it seems like a lot of people... You know, they have the attention span of a gnat, and so I gotta kinda cater to that in order to draw them into the channel for the deeper kind of info bomb kind of uh, podcast uh, format that I'm used to. But I prefer, because I, I prefer to go deeper into topics, but I've been releasing a lot more uh, shorts um, just to try to tap into a broader audience. It worked with that uh, Bill Gates corn video, didn't it? it got over 2,000 views so far, mostly unsubscribed. But, uh, yeah, I just released that. It's just basically a uh, clip uh, from Reuters of uh, why is Musk trying to develop his own X app or App X, what he's calling the Everything app, which is just like a ripoff of uh, China's WeChat, which just envelops everything, right? So it's, it's like the app to rule all apps, basically. This is from the guy, Elon Musk, who, uh, you know, giggled about how Bitcoin is the coin to rule them all. Again, Lord of the Rings terminology. Um, so he's into, he's into crypto, right? He's into his little Skynet, right? Um, Starlink, you know, surround the globe with a swarm of satellites that are, by the way, being used right now by DARPA in uh, Ukraine to guide Western supplied drones to the Ukrainian regime in order to target Russian tanks. Um, In fact, he just got some flack because they they claim that the Starlink went down on the front lines or something like that and they thought of some kind of retaliation for the uh, diplomat saying F you, Elon, basically we're never going to buy your cars and all this stuff. Because he dared to suggest that we should actually have some kind of discussion about maybe peace terms with Russia. No, they wanted this war to continue going on and on and on. Funneling money. Keep funneling that money out of America, out of Europe. 
Who gets all this money? Nobody knows. It does not matter if the war is not real, or when it is, that victory is not possible. The war is not meant to be won. It is meant to be continuous. Yeah, so Musk is uh, developing his X app based upon the Chinese model that they have tested uh, digital ID systems tied to your account information when Musk himself has already called for, you know, previous to now I guess he's going to buy Twitter, you know, big surprise, could have called that. Uh, it's all this like posturing, right? Like, oh, we're going to, we're going to sue Musk and oh, there's this standoff and oh, the, the, uh, the Twitter employees are all going to quit, boycott Twitter because uh, Musk is such a rebel, right wing, hater, whack job. It's like, no, I think this was all in the works, right? The guy's got the guy's got more of a presence than anybody on Twitter, 100 million plus, last time I checked, followers. Uh, man, I keep hearing, oh, okay, it's this person back here. Sounded like somebody was in my car wrestling around back there. <clears throat> Not that delusional yet, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's a fine line between genius and insanity like they say right uh, so yeah he, he wants a we or he wants the X the app X and uh, control all so he wants to get into blockchain he wants to get into Bitcoin he wants to get get into cryptocurrency and he also wants uh, to develop an app to control all apps that will be tied into such payment options he wants us to tie all this into Twitter which he's already called for uh, authentication of every Twitter user. Well, at the same time, he's all about freedom and free speech. And, oh, I'm just such a, you know, I love America. It's such a great place. Uh, you know, screw these uh, mandates, you know, boo-hoo, I'm not going to wear my mask. And then all of a sudden he started wearing a bandana. You know, he, he talks real tough. And I'm not saying that some of these guys might in their own minds, right? Which I can imagine that Musk's level, you might get a little delusional, right? A little bit God complex, you know? Savior of the earth, technocratic vision for the future based upon sci-fi novels. We're all gonna go to the stars. We're gonna become immortal. We're gonna join with AI. We're gonna be gods, basically. I can see how you get a little deluded, but um, you know, I'm not saying in their own minds that they might not think, or Musk might not think that he's doing the right thing, that he truly believes that by developing these technologies, you know, he's some gonna, somehow gonna free mankind. And like he said in his uh, AI day festival, where he's showing off his AI robot that looked kind of pathetic in my mind. I mean, it's like, wow, that's as far developed as we've gotten yet. This little teetery robot that I could probably push over with a pinky. said you know everything you're gonna have everything you want once we develop these drones these robots for the consumer market and it's a slave class right I mean you can't get around that right so we got rid of slavery so we got to invent a new form of slavery that's morally acceptable and that's gonna be robot slaves unless you know like the dystopic nightmare sci-fi novels come true and the AI actually take over and uh, make us their slaves, you know. But Musk's solution is to join them, to merge with them. And it sure as hell sounds a lot like what Klaus Schwab is talking about, right? So why is Musk so different? Why, when he calls for uh, green energies, when he decries the uh, carbon emissions, destroying the earth, when he calls for universal basic income, when he calls for uh, digital IDs online, which he's basically doing with his new AppX and his uh, user authentication on uh, Twitter. What else is he for? Merger of man and machine. Um, there goes some geese. I don't know if you heard that. 
Yeah. Weather's changing. It's almost fall. I mean, it is fall. It's almost winter. Uh, what else is Musk for? Yeah, it's for digital currency, digital IDs, um, merger of man and machine, um, Skynet. Um, what else does he stand for, guys? I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, he says uh, AI is summoning the demon, yet he uh, embraces AI and uh, pours his money into developing AI. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure he can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. Okay, so he's, so he's afraid of misuse of the technology, but Musk is going to be different, right? If Musk controls the super hive mind, algorithmic, digital prison, it's going to be okay, right? Because Musk is a, a little angel, right guys? He's not just after profit. He's not just another monopoly man. So not only Musk, but yeah, you have Bill Gates to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars funding digital ID programs. Big surprise, right? Which he's been doing for some time now. This, this is not news. And uh, so all these technologies are coming into play. Uh, the Fed working on the digital dollars, the uh, CBDCs, the uh, you know, BlackRock and the rest, Rothschilds getting into the crypto space, uh, mining crypto companies. The Super Bowl halftime show, did anybody watch that yet, that podcast? If you haven't, you should have, because it's it's right there in your face. And it's literally mark in the right hand tied to a blockchain digital currency as the future, right? Because they use, you know, the uh, revelation of the method. They use these big events like Super Bowl halftime shows to reveal to us all, this is where we're going, guys. Pay attention. If you don't, oh well. You'll just be deceived. But, yeah, the world is changing, man. And it's at lightning pace. It's it's just a blur. And that's where they want to keep us. They want to keep us so inundated with information that you know every day there's a new, like, apocalyptic headline, right? And you can't keep track and and you know when you're traveling in a car really fast everything's a blur so you can't really make out the details you can't stop and reflect you can't tie this dot with that dot because everybody's focused on the next shiny object ahead which might be a red light might be a green light might be a stop sign um, don't get distracted with the shiny objects is all I'm saying <laughs>